ladies and gentlemen. My name is Wu Daijie. I come from uh, National Taipei University of Technology. And my topic is laser ultrasound imagery of defects in curved structure with a flexible ultrasonic transducer. And it's a cooperative research with, uh, with uh, Kumamoto University and the professor is Makiko Kobayashi. And this is my outline. I will talk about the background of this research and methodology, experiment result, and conclusion. OK, first. Uh, because the manufacturing industrial structures such as pipes and tubes are commonly used to carry uh, inflammable liquids or gas such as petroleum, uh, natural gas, or oil. So if there's a defect corrosion and interior cracks inside of the pipe, it may cause a disastrous damage. So there's some uh, huge accidents recently uh, happened in recent years. So like uh, in Taiwan, there's a 2010, there's a pipe corrosion caused the flame, caused the explosion. And 2013 and 2014, last year, in Taiwan and Qingdao, there's a pipe ex explosion. It just caused uh, heavy losses. And But uh, I think there's a many way to inspect this kind of problem. But the inspection of the pipeline is complicated and high cost. And so I think everyone is the um, ultrasonic expert here. So. Um, here I, I I I have to do have to say that so uh, easily we use the prop to generate ultrasound and you can see the uh, back surface echo and the crack echo if there's a defect. So but still on the other hand there's still some disadvantage about this. So first is the um, you must have the high degree of skill and experience. So it's not for the everyone can do that. And the second is focus on uh, pass echo and through transmission inspection. And especially is uh, offer the one D information for conventional equipment, and so is that is uh, for some this kind of commercial transducer uh, is more suitable for specimen with flat surface. So uh, to solve the first question is about uh, we want to solve the complex complex structure and uh, uh, curves uh, curve surface. So uh, there's a piezoelectric ultrasonic transducer by Sergio. Uh, it's developed by uh, CMRC in 2006. And you can see the picture here is flexible. And there's a piezoelectric film on the, uh, attached on the polymer film. So the most important thing is that it's a complex surface ad uh, ad ability. And the second, we propose the visualization, ultrasonic visualization here to substitute for a traditional, traditional uh, ultrasonic technique. So it presenting defects in an intuitive way without the need of advanced skill and experience. So it's not, a, uh, it's not from the simulation, it's from our experiment data. So you can see there's a surface wave, the wedge wave, the plant wave. You can observe this wave very directly. And even though you can see there's a hole here. So you can know where is the hole here, there. So it's a fast allocating defect in a structure with high accuracy. And then it's my, my, object, uh, my objective is to develop a flexible ultrasonic transducer we call FUT for defect inspection. And then we apply the FUT in the laser ultrasound visualization. We build it called LUV for visualizing defect in a curved structure. So I want to introduce the methodology. First is a laser ultrasound technique. So we use laser to generate the ultrasound. And the advantage is like uh, something just like the ultrasound is non-destructive and suitable for in-situ in measurement and broadband. And another thing is it's non-contact, and it can easy to combine with the mirror to do a optical scanning. And the second is the reciprocal theory. Uh, because originally, maybe you want to do a scan, you will move your detector. And if, we, if you inverse that, you just use that your genera gen, uh, generator uh, moves step by step in a linear direction to do a scanning, you will get the same result. You, it's equivalent. And then uh, talk about how to fabricate the FUT. So uh, this part, it, we get help from Professor Makiko Kobayashi. And uh, the, step, the step is just like this. Uh, it's like this. So first, the powder, the PCT powder mixing with the cell gel solution and, uh, by a boiling machine. And then we spray uh, the, mixed, uh, the mixed liquid will spread on the substrate. So uh, in this paper, we use stainless steel for our substrate. And then do the thermal processing, like drying and frying at different temperature for five minutes. And then we repeat the spray coating and thermal process until to the desired thickness of a film. So it depends on what you want. 
because uh, I will talk about later because there's a relation about the same, uh, the frequency of your transducer. And then if you finish, you just polarize through the corona discharge. And the last, you use the silver path for electro on the top of film. Okay, and then it's my experiment. And this four FUT, we made it. And uh, uh, you can see uh, the surgery and the powder is all made of PZT and the substrate is stainless steel. And the thickness of, uh, of substrate is around five, uh, 50 micrometer. So it's very, it's, a, it's kind of slice, so it can be flexible, okay? And then um, the thickness of film, there's a two. One is a, uh, for one and two is around 80 micrometer. And third and four is around uh, 140 micrometer. And then we just do a very easy ultrasonic testing to test the, uh, the performance F, of FUT. So we will, uh, we try the four of the, those, those transducers and the target is the aluminum plate. The thickness is about 8.5 millimeter and you use a coupling to contact each other. And then it's the LUV system we built in our lab. So this is the spec in our, uh, of our system. Um, the laser, just in, you, we use the laser uh, combined with the gyro scanning mechanism to generate the ultrasonic on the specimen. And then we use FUT to detect the ultrasonic wave, okay? And this is our specimen. We choose a pipe with the internal cylindrical defect and the material is aluminum. And actually this, uh, this is a small pipe uh, and the thickness is only three, mil uh, three millimeter. And because the, there's a hole in, in, the, in, the, in the internal hole, so we just scan in the external surface because we, we, uh, we wanna know if there's a uh, internal crack, if, can we detect that or not? Okay, so this is the schemat schematic structure about the, about the de uh, defect. And then it's a result. First, uh, this is the time domain signal and frequency response about the four transducer. And um, you can see the, the noise is low and you can see at least two echoes from specimen. I think it's very good. And uh, for one and two, uh, there's a thing, the, the film of the uh, PCT is more thin, so the, uh, its, its frequency is more higher. And for loss of, of, and of uh, for these two, uh, it's around the thickness of film is around 140, and the frequency just lower. And oh, I forgot to say that in in this experiment, I used the. Uh, sorry, I didn't say that. Sorry, I used the transducer. Uh, the first transducer, the central frequency is about uh, is 9.8, uh, 9 9.18. Uh, megahertz and to see the experiment. So this is the animation from our L, from our experiment result, and you can see the wave uh, how the wave propagating along this pipe is very clearly. And in the and this is we get we just capture some frames from this uh, animation. So there's a defect, and then you can see uh, I think in this in this specimen. Uh, we generate the surface wave and longitudinal wave, and two two mode of longitudinal wave in this specimen, and each wavefront can see it very clearly, and the reflect and scattered wavefront of the defect from the defect it also can see it, so I think it's very well, and then this is my conclusion. So this research employ the LUV system with FUT to detect the defect in curved structure successfully, of course, and then. The broadband FUT is very suitable to complex structure and counteract advantage of laser using the uh, use for the non destruct testing. And then at least two uh, at least two uh, guided wave propagating along the pipe can be observed by using this kind of system. And the wavefront of uh, the wavefront of the defect was uh, observed clearly also. And I think this is the future work about what we want to do because. Because this, uh, the FUT actually, uh, he's a high temperature durability. 
has a good high temperature uh, durability. So what we'll do next step is to maybe heat up the specimen or in different environment or condition to do uh, the, the visualization again and to see what the difference and can, can we did the, can we did it as well.